everybody, here to show us how to take ordinary yarn and turn it into trendy wall art for our home is the lovely Maria Provenzano. Uh, this is some beautiful stuff. Well, thank you. It Doesn't does. it remind you of macrame? <laughs> It does. It macrame does. actually it was funny. When I was doing this project, I was sending my mom all of these pictures and using the macrame rings. She goes, I actually used to make macrame owls. If you can wow. believe it. It's yeah, a very a like intricate type you know of what? thing. It, you know what it reminds me of? Is me. Because this is, is me. Like, <laughs> is, no, I did this like when I was a kid. That's this was, your this artwork. Was, Wait a minute. This who? is the second who? one I made that. Who? Did you me. say you, who? Yeah, who? me. Oh. me. Oh. oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, like that's what that's I, incredible. Yeah, when we were that's what was one of the And those are trending now. They're so popular and it's just you you're seeing them everywhere. See, I was ahead of my time. You were. Really were. You did a bachelorette party? I did. So my friend um, had her bachelorette party uh, in Palm Springs and so being out in the desert, that's where I came up with the cactus ideas. You can see in the picture that I did. Yeah, the so the cactus bags I did and then the cactus um, nail art with the yarn you can see in the back and so that was really oh, how, how cool I is that, that is what inspired this yeah. because I wanted to do a craft that was really inexpensive and the yarn is so cheap. What's you can it? get it for like a couple dollars. But truthfully, you said that inexpensive. I mean, these things can be really expensive. I've seen them at Urban Outfitters mm -hmm. and at Anthropology, yeah. and I saw one for fifteen hundred dollars. Exactly. It was so big. Yeah, they, I mean, they usually start about forty dollars, and so this you can get done for about anywhere from five five to fifteen dollars, depending on how many. Um, how much yarn you get, or whatever wood you want to put it on, but about five fifteen dollars. So, so what are you going to do to get started here? We okay, first. so let's do the nail art first. Okay. That's what I started earlier today. So if you guys um, can take a look, it's actually very simple. These are the supplies that you need, and uh, just I got the board at um, Michaels, and so then I just I freehanded the cactus on the board. You can actually um, print out a picture and trace it if that's easier. And then I just go in and I get these small nails that you can get, I mean, just about anywhere. I got mine at Target. And then you just Look nail them in, obviously making sure that they're very secure. And then whatever yarn color you like, working with thin yarn, I recommend. And then you just twist it around um, the yarn as you go. And there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this. But once you start and you fill the outline, you can really fill um, the inside of it however you like. And the more you do, the obviously, the more full it's going to be. So I just went back and forth, wrapping it around um, the nails. And as you can see, I kind of really like that crisscross yeah. pattern. And I just went all the way up, and then I went all the way down. And so that is what um, it came to be now. And then to make the flowers, I just made a tassel by wrapping the yarn around my hand. And then I tie one end just with another piece of yarn, cut the other end and then flip it over and then just tie the top with uh, another piece of yarn and then cut off the end to make it just really clean and that brings us to where we are now. And so these are like the prickly pear uh, flowers. Oh, yeah. They're like, little, like yeah. fluffy little. They look pretty, but they don't so, feel so pretty. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> they you know, they make jelly out of prickly pear. I, and I know. Yeah. Have you had it? It's I have. It's very good. We should make it here. And you, oh, what should. are you just, you don't glue them on or anything? You know what? You I don't. I just stick them on and they'll stick on their, like the other yarn sticks to the, oh, like it was wrapped around. Cactus has had their little things. They're sticky. Exactly. Right? They're yeah. sticky. <laughs> I mean, that's easy enough. <laughs> All right. And now let's go on while Debbie's doing that. How do you do the wall art stuff? So the wall art is so simple. These are macrame rings. I use dowels. I also found a stick and like I know going on a walk with my son so all you do is called a lark's head knot and so it's actually it sounds fancy and it's really yeah. not so um, you can see this is a stick that I found and I just did lots of uh, this was my coach of many colors and taking us back Aww. to Dollywood um, so all I did was I take the yarn it's folded in half and as you can see make a U and then all you do is pull the legs through of the U and pull. And that's it. And that is it. And it's really, it looks super intricate. And I will say, the re probably the reason why it takes, um, or it costs, costs so much is because it can take a lot of time to do right. it. Right. Sure. But it's, and that's really what you're paying for is, is the time. But they're so... They're so beautiful and did intricate. You, uh, did oh yeah, they're then so cut the uh, all the ends to make them even or I pitch did. them all. Yes, I so did. I cut them all and I really for this liked using the chunky ones on the bigger yeah. pieces. Kind yeah. of like so the bigger the pieces, the chunkier you kind of want to get your yarn. Sure. And then overestimate the yarn. Like use more yarn than you think you're going to use. The one on the end up there, did you darken that? or I dip dyed it. You dip dyed I it. I dip dyed it. Do you know that it's called RIT dye, R-I-T? Oh, yeah. RIT dye. dye. And um, that stuff is strong. Oh. So <laughs> make sure you read the instructions because it's going to depend based on the um, whatever uh, material the sure. yarn is made out of. Um, but yeah, then you can just dip dye it and do an ombre look.
Wonderful. You can do like an ombre. It's ombre. amazing. Thank you so much, Maria. The, for detailed instructions, visit our Pinterest page. And for more great ideas from this one, go to From Scratch with Maria. Sorry, from, who? From, who? From, who? from Scratch. From Scratch with Maria. Sophie, you're up. Yeah, when we come back, I'm going to show you some healthy late night snacks.